that from a facilities management standpoint, we lack, um, and I have an MBA in corporate finance, right? But, you know, um, you know, we lack the discussion of how to talk to our finance team. You know, we don't talk net present value. We don't talk life cycle costs, right? So it's not the language we speak. Right. And and I've learned, and more so in the last maybe three or four years, <laughs> I should, maybe I should learn it sooner, but <laughs> for the last three or four years, you start talking life cycle costs, net present value, and start putting that in financial models. Um, you get more attention, you know, from the, the C-suite um, in order to understand the model. Because, I mean, I can tell you that if, if I said, if one of my guys came to me and said, Jim, I want to replace the chill, the first thing I say is, you know, besides the size of it and all this, some of the questions, the technical part, like, how old is it? Mm -hmm. You know, if they told me it's 22 years old, I'd be like, okay. You know, like, it, like it wouldn't even catch my attention. And, and, but from a, but from a ASHRAE life cycle course, it's past its life, right? It's considered no value and whatever they're doing on the, on the balance sheet is a different world depreciating. That's not my world, but you and I both know that that thing's got another 10, 12 years to it. You know what I mean? And, and that's our expectation to it. But from a life cycle course, it changes the way we look at things. So we're starting to look at things from life cycle course, um, net present value to start doing our infrastructure review, because that's what really catches more the attention of, of finance is just saying, because they're saying, well, it's working because we equate everything, in my opinion, to our houses, right? You know, <laughs> when you have to replace the roof on your house, even though you've been in it 30 years, Everybody goes crazy because the guy gives you the, the, the bill of seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars and you and your your partner go, Oh my god, where are we gonna get the money from? And I, and I, but you've been in the house 30 years, you know, you haven't put putting a dollar away every month to save for the uh for the roof. Nobody does, you know. Yeah. So I think that we need to talk in those terms to better deliver our message. And that's part of the plan that I'm talking about. And that's how we um have been doing our infrastructure the last couple of years 